dan 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 yeah, travel to the Nakano residence. Talk to the people about the stuff. Ah, <sighs> wonderful. And the closest I have is Coastal Cottage, so I'll just fast travel there and walk the rest of the way. Wonderful. It's raining. What's that? Can I shoot it? Uh, evidently not. They're all chasing something else. Okay, I get to shoot something on my way after all. get some wonderful I'll take your uh, bottle caps bullets and stem pack hope you can climb strong <clears throat> I know I can At least most of the time. You, how dare you tell me I can't go that way? There's other stuff over there. It'd be nice to set down mining machines in here. There's plenty of rocks to chew through. Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. What? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. Valentine's Detective Agency. I'm his new partner. I'm with Valentine's Detective Agency. You asked for help? Oh, thank God. You have to get working right away. Ah, all right. But what's your story with Nick? So, what's the story with you and Nick? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back. Searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. Nick's client double-crossed us once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. But we got out. Dang. And now, my daughter's missing, and there's only one detective agency I know of in the Commonwealth. Well, I'm here to help. I'm here to help. Tell me what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter, Kasumi, likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I... think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. 
She would have said something. I know my daughter mm. is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Any leads? Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. All righty. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. I certainly will. Give me a moment. Where is her room? Is this it? Kasumi's project on the radio. Project log? Radio. Correction? Working. Radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. <laughs> Restroom. That looks like the parents' room. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. Our radio. Let's talk about that. Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be overprotective. Mm-hmm. Well, what about her? I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Like, shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. No, oh, what's wrong? Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but... Now I wonder what she was up to. Mm-hmm. Well, do you think she had any reasons for leaving? You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Okay. I'll get back to you later. Nothing else right now. Kenji? Mr. Did you have questions? About my daughter? Well... Let's talk about her radio again. Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. <clears throat> I tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again. But there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it. Or something. Like she usually does. Someone made contact with her. Uh, build a toaster out of it. Her. I once made a but toaster alarm clock combination back when I was much younger. So, what's her reason for leaving that you have to say? Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife says she left on her own, but you said it was kidnappers. I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Ray. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. 
Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter. Her life is in jeopardy. Well, tell me more about her first, in your own words. Anything more you can tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? Now we're getting somewhere. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. Okay. I'll get back to you later. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. Oh, no, there's no exit over there. There is here. Come on, Strong. We're gonna find you something to smash. Don't know what, but eventually we'll find something to smash. Ah, a key in the picture frame. And grandfather's note. <laughs> if you ever get locked out of the safe, the answer is here in the boathouse. Picture where the key is. Love, granddad. Sumi's final holotape. <clears throat> Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God, where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synth, synthetic people, made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go meet these synths, I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. Okay, then. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? Why, yes, I did. I think <coughs> I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. There's no time to waste. You have to go after her. Wait, did you find out why she left, Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. Don't you want to know if she wants to be found? <sighs> You're right, Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? Uh, yes, I did. Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Yeah, maybe she's just confused. Maybe your daughter is just confused. Uh, having an identity crisis. Oh, God. Does she even think we're still her parents? This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. It has a guidance system, a final gift from my father. And it's built for distance. 
Well, what's out there? What can I expect out there, Kenji? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. Alrighty, we'll go for it. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. I know you haven't asked for a payment, and we can't offer much. But here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. Well, thank you very much. We'll get right to the bottom of this, eventually. Hello, kitty. Why are you standing in the rain? You should be indoors. That's quite the guidance system. Bye, Strong! I'll see you later! If I don't spaz out of the boat first. Hang on a tick. Water sloshing off the keel. Wonderful. I have made it. Hadn't docked yet, but I've made it. Completed the first part, far from home. Come on, Strong! Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, we don't get many visitors around Mainlanders here. Mainlanders always think they know better. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a... A difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? I'm looking for someone. A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. You, help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hull never lets us down. Now follow me. Careful on the hull. You picked a hell of a day to visit. Man the hull. Something's out there. You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill. Time to shoot stuff. Eyes <coughs> peeled, everyone. The gate. Open the gate. I've got wounded out here. Mariner, there's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gophers. Oh God. Defend yourselves. Ready all. <laughs> Seventy percent, ninety five percent. Gotcha. Who's there? Got that one. Can 
gonna get that one. Hello, Joe. Yes, it is I. I'm shooting gulpers. That's always fun. <clears throat> you, you killed it. Oh man. If the island has killed you, you sure killed Yeah, I was trying I was trying to let you know, so on the account itself on your Xbox. If you check mine at some point, just look, you'll see. It has all my attachments on it. I had changed an option, so does it show up now? Yeah, it does, yeah. Death will hide on a gulper. See, I've got, like, fucking Twitch. Steam. Something else. Discord. Okay. Oh boy, there's quite a few. Yeah, hold on one second. That's all mine now. Whatever. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. Why, thank you. How did you lose your island? You lost the whole island oh, the fog's been here forever there are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal then there are times when it spreads all over and people have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog for the past oh, eight years or so it's been getting as bad as it's ever been now far harbor is one of the only places left that's safe so what's this fog about what's the fog. <clears throat> Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. Mm-hmm. Well, it's impressive you've survived with all these constant attacks. You managed to survive despite all that? You must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come... And it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. Children of Adam? Oh boy. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. They worship the power of Adam. Which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee... Now that's enough! That preacher came into the harbor <laughs> saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. Preacher? Do tell. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was 
abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. So how'd the fog get worse? Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Mm hmm. Business as usual, then. Can we get back to business. Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But, uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. <laughs> Wonderful. So, who is he? What's Old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But, uh, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation <laughs> even among us. And Arcadia? What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Well, thank Thanks you. Thanks for the info. <sighs> Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Here, welcome. Yeah, why are you running? Don't let the island catch you off guard. Buy my guns. I will get to that next time. Spank you for watching, and spank you even harder for watching all the way through and a triple spanking to you for supporting your favorite idiot on PayPal and Patreon that would be me till next time bye